morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And the Dreams brand I'm just building with my community and something for us to just keep a little original pieces in our closet. Okay, today's episode I wanted to bring to you guys is just the whole decline of hip hop and just the energy difference and how the music today shapes the kids and the youth growing up going down the wrong path. Now, we all know when it comes to hip hop, there's good music, there's bad music, and the other stuff, I just can't put a name on it. I would say when it comes down to music, as far as my take on it, I treat it like healthy food. I don't buy into music that's gonna be corrupt, demonic, anything that's gonna be some kind of mental strain on me, I don't invest in any of it, my time, my energy, my money, anything. But if it's good music and it's something that uplift me and it makes me, you know, wanna do and do more as far as the things that I'm doing that I have going for myself, that's when I invest and put my money into it. So you kinda gotta treat this bad music kinda like how you treat food. Whatever you put in is what you're gonna get out and your reflection of whatever you listen to. So we're gonna jump right into it and see what these people think about hip hop and just the state of hip hop today. Love you guys. Let's get it. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. I just finished working at a school today, and some of the kids were playing music. And let me just tell y'all, the songs that these kids are listening to are just so disgusting, so negatively impacting the subconscious they sound like evil spells like they literally sound like evil spells and the kids are just eating it up and frying their brains and just i hope that you are paying attention to the frequencies the lyrics the sonics everything of not just what you're consuming musically but honestly consuming and everything but you know obviously i'm making this about music um yeah, watch what you're playing around your kids. Watch what they're listening to. And you pay attention to what you're listening to and consuming as well, because I swear this music is casting spells. Rapping about how nice you rap is one of the boringest topics you could cover on a song. I'm not opposed to a couple of bars here and there, maybe even a song or two, but if you notice all you write is how fucking nice you are and how you're so ill and so sick, yo, your shit is fucking boring. No one wants to hear how your rhymes are from another dimension. School and rap is airing now. We call it suspension. No one gives a fuck about that shit. Rap about real life shit. Rap about shit that people could feel, people could relate to. No one gives a fuck about how nice you are but yourself. It's another reason why a lot of lyrical miracle rappers don't fucking blow up. Next time you write in a song, ask yourself, are these some potent lyrics right here? Like, are people gonna connect to what I'm saying? Or am I just writing it to fulfill my own ego? Be real with your raps and the way you write. This is an unpopular hot take, but I don't know if any of y'all have ever watched Brown Sugar. And remember Ren and Tin in that movie and how they were trying to be like the new hip hop artists? Well, I just heard a song, and I'm not gonna say the artist. And I was like, why does it sound just like that? Like, it was terrible. And y'all be making these people famous. And it, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, they literally foreplayed the music industry today in that movie. And people sleep. Because that is trash. Like, I just showed Daviana and he knew exactly what I was saying. Because what? Ugh. Please, throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Plus, I just feel like the rap game right now is like semi boring a lot of it sounds the same and stuff yeah, like that exactly you know i just feel like everybody like since COVID, i feel like they put us inside and i feel like we never came out <laughs> if you ain't learned nothing else with all the people that's passing away all the stuff that's going on with all these social media content creators people losing their page people getting kicked out of the creator fund people passing away y'all saw what ha happened with mr prada you saw what happened today with lucas coley all of the older actors and any actors of any age is passing away left and right if if y'all don't hear nothing else that i tell you and i've been saying this i told y'all this last year that this year 
this was going to be a year of exposure but also in my spirit i'm led to say this there's a it's some type of spirit of depression that's sitting on the world maybe it's in the internet i don't know where it's at but it's just it's sitting on every everything and that spirit of temptation y'all are falling into it and that's why i personally i promote spirituality healing intuition discernment just all, all of that and above because it's so much going on behind closed doors that y'all will not even begin to understand that's why i work so hard and will always promote what i promote because i want people to get so strong within thyself and then thy faith that they can become almost untouchable in the sense of if it wasn't meant to happen it ain't gonna happen to you but y'all stay safe y'all be blessed and i love you I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but mainstream rap is not the same anymore. I remember listening to a song and waiting for them to make me go, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like when Lil Wayne came out, I was listening to all his songs. He was just like the lyricism, Nicki Minaj's the lyricism, like life is a gamble and I'm all about my poker chips. Who do you know can think of stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? And now it's just like poop, 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 scoop. Scoopity poop, like that that Kanye song. It really makes my ears bleed at this point, and I just need new music to listen to because mainstream ain't hitting the same. I need the underground. If you're a fan of modern music, you need to listen up. You're gonna have to face facts in this video, and it's gonna hurt your ego. Listen, hip hop and rap's best days are behind us. Hi, my name is Kato Jack. I make music, and this is why I know what I'm talking about. Remember my face and name, Kato Jack. Listen up. Have you ever wondered why these guys, Nirvana, artists like James Brown, and even Jim Morrison, what do all these people have in common? They have real music with real lyrics that tell real lessons and messages. In today's world, rap is overplayed. Nonsense lyrics. If you're waiting for a new revolution of music, introduce yourself to Kato Jack. My music is amazing. I'm gonna be your best favorite artist. You need to go remember this face, remember the name, and go stream Kato Jack, Kato Jack. This song right here, All About You, not only does it have healing frequencies, it's gonna make you feel better. And if you know, you know about that, healing frequency. This has a real message behind it. Go listen to the lyrics. Feel the emotions in your heart. Go stream it right now. And if you're hating on it, haha, you watched the whole video. Stream Kato Jack, Kato Jack, get mad about it. Mainstream trap music and how it's getting kind of stale. Definitely, I will say, mainstream rap is getting a little stale. And honestly, it's getting repetitive as well. It, a lot of these rappers, even completely different artists, a lot of these rappers are starting to bleed into each other. In mainstream rap, in mainstream trap music, it's it's even being acknowledged by the rappers at, at this point. Smart. So Smart. almost every single mainstream trap project is gonna have Lil Baby, Lil Durk, Future, Gunna, 21 Sap, like they're gonna all be on each other's projects too. So it's like, you're hearing the same voices on every album. They're all in this little bubble and they're just passing features back and forth, back and forth. And not only are they passing features back and forth, they're passing beats back and forth. And eventually it just, it's, it starts to really bleed into each other and just becomes damn near one extra long song between like 12 artists. It's like what it feels like. Even I know I'm a really great rapper, yes, yes. But you know, it's just, I don't know, rap is boring right now. Like, I, it, like I've like mastered it and of course I can uh, practice still and everything I write but um it's just boring right now I don't like I don't feel the need to like rap you know on every song um because I started with singing right mm -hmm. then I started writing and then I was like okay I'm gonna be an MC and now I kind of flipped it because it's like I'm singing more and for the youth out there, you have to control your vibe. And it's almost, look at it like a carousel. You know, you're staying in your vibe and then eventually it'll come around to you. Pitch if it was the other way around and you have to look for anybody else's vibe or try to jump on that carousel while it was moving. Those are everybody's vibes moving and you're trying to jump on, you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to fall off because it's not your vibe. Stick to your vibe and you'll always be successful and feeling good at the music you put out. More than I'm rapping. But I was, I was just honestly shy of like singing in public and then hitting the wrong note and then like my career is over so you just started like the freestyling was easier yeah, then freestyling was easier no literally it was and now i'm like I, I, I flipped it and um yeah i'm just yeah i feel like i'm really good at rapping so let's talk about 808 frequency 808 frequency exists in the lowest chakra it's related to that energy of killing and 
that sexual energy. 808 is what is pushed out on Apple Music, Spotify, all those major platforms. Whenever it comes to the hip hop and rap, like if you peep it, that's what's pushed out to the minds. In hip hop, they're always talking about sex or whenever people are rapping or doing drill rap, it's all always about murder, killing. That's that 808 frequency. You can literally tell the difference if you listen to a regular song versus putting a song in 432 hertz. If you put a song in 432 hertz, you will actually connect to that artist on a deeper level and actually feel where that artist is coming from. Because we project when we talk, we are talking at 432. See, that's why a lot of incidents be happening at concert with mosh pits and people going crazy, killing each other. It's because of this 808 frequency. Now, I feel like people get on this internet, and I know I said people get on this internet just to be mean. People get on this internet to intentionally misunderstand someone just to start. When you're, you can be the prettiest, most beautiful, gorgeous person physically on the outside, but to have a mean soul, a mean spirit is ugly. And it's ugly on you, babe. And I hate that for you. Have you ever wondered why we are constantly being bombarded by negative content? I mean, it's everywhere. Social media platforms that you go on, news outlets, even blogs. And when you're done consuming negative content, it leaves the viewer feeling crappy. So our mental health suffers. But if we know this, why do people keep coming out with negative content? Okay, well, here's the thing. Negative content elicits a response from its viewers. You know, they can get you to take some sort of action or spend your money somewhere. Hey, it may be a great tactic for the person putting out that content, but for the person consuming it, it doesn't feel so great. That's why here at Alinus, we have turned the tables and we are dedicated to creating a positive and uplifting space where you can come, hang out, and we hope that when you leave, you feel better than when you came, not worse. So go ahead and follow for a little dose of happiness in your day. That is our promise to you. Wow, all I got to say when it comes to hip hop, when it comes to society, be careful of what you invest in because that investment might cause you your life, someone in your family's life, just because music is powerful. The people that don't know and don't understand, they just go along with the bop, go along with the bop until they bop themselves in a place where they can't get out of. You guys let me know how you feel about, you know, just the state of hip hop today. And um, we need to get more good music going and put that more in the forefront and stop supporting all this negative stuff even negative content it all falls in the same batch people talking down on people and just talking out their beaks and don't even know what they're saying because they have been subjected to a life that they're stuck in so you guys let me know in the comments down below how you feel and i get back to you on my morning shows monday wednesdays and fridays 9 a.m love you guys